Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Legion. And we have no time for dilly-dally today, guys. We have got a lot to do to celebrate the Hallow's End festivity. We're going to start out by doing a little bit of public service and removing these stink bombs from Undercity using the Arcane Cleaner. Um, which I really wish I had a bottle of in my house. If it's going to be taking care of stink bombs this big. But, oh, we got stunk. We smell horrible. Hold on, can we clean ourselves? Yay! <laughs> I wouldn't figure that Swindle Gear smelled particularly good, or anyone really in WoW, except for probably elves, on the uh, best of days, sure enough, after getting hit by a stink bomb. But in this episode, we are going to continue with all the Hallow's End festivities. We're going to be paying back the Alliance for this stink bomb attack by stink, stink, bombing, or <laughs> stink bombing Stormwind. And we're also going, speaking of Stormwind, we need to head over there and put out their Wickerman fire. We gotta fight that appropriation. Since this is a holiday to celebrate the Forsaken, no reason the Alliance should be celebrating it. Actually, they shouldn't, <laughs> they should not enjoy the holiday at all. Now we're here in the main trade quarter. As you can see, I'm still wearing my Worgen mask after our, uh, incidents with the werewolves um, from before. Might as well dress up like as something that Swindle Gear finds particularly intimidating at this moment. And here's our last two stink bombs. Huzzah! Now, let's head back up to the surface. Oh, we gotta get one of our city tricks here. Remember, we have to go to all the capital cities and do a do something for each innkeeper in order to get a treat. So, innkeeper is right here. By the way, I don't know if, if you guys have actually seen Undercity, but look at their inn. It looks so cozy. It's Bob for apples while we're here. We got Bobbing Apple times five. What does that do? Restores three percent of your health and mana per second for twenty-five seconds. Huh. Neat. What now? Rest your weary bones for a spell. Chicken clucking for a mint. Ah, trick or treating on behalf of a child, are we? I was going to say you're a little old to be rummaging around for candles. Well, for my treat, an undercity mint, you will need to cluck like a chicken. Yes, chickens love mints. Well, okay, maybe they don't love them, but I won't give you a mint unless you chicken cluck for me. Well, rogue, are you up to the challenge or not? Time to earn your treat. Do a chicken emote at Innkeeper Norman. Fair enough, we can do that. Let's zoom in here. We got a freaking chicken over here. Buck, 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 buck. <laughs> that's the most literal, not literal, but that's the most mocking chicken ever. Probably need to accept the quest first before I do that. We got a freaking chicken over here. Buck, 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 buck. <laughs> Happy Hallow's End, Swindle Gear. I am forsaken. <laughs> Too funny. Well done. Here's your treat. Happy Hallow's End. A classic Hallow's End treat for the Forsaken. Our time will come. That's kind of reassuring to me that they have mints. Speak quickly. They probably need them. So. We can keep on getting that quest from Innkeeper Norman if we feel so inclined, but we've got the one thing that we need. So let's fly through this stink bomb. And we'll head up the elevator of death, which many players have died <laughs> in. And see if the Wicker Man has been put out. Because remember, Alliance characters need to head up here to put out the Wicker Man, so there should be a continuous flow of them coming in and out. Allegedly. Lord knows we're going to be heading to Stormwind. Oh, well, crap. We can't use... Oh, we can just go ahead and throw the torch anyway. What is it? Now, time to build up. Now is the time of the Forsaken. Power to the Forsaken. Now and forever. And a tricky treat. Embrace the shadow. Huzzah. And let's talk to Candace here. 
cleanup. I didn't notice a smell before, but I've come to expect weak magic from those lion's hags. However, the orc guards complained enough and will surely appreciate your efforts. Victory for Well, I guess now would be a good time to fly to Stormwind. Now, we get our flight talking to Krina Fenlo, the sister to uh, Candace there. I haven't got all day. Nothing sends ha says Hallow's End is here more than a ride on a broomstick. Ready to attack Stormwind, man. Trust no one. And <laughs> here we go. Oh, epic flight music. And a load screen. It's gonna... Because we're flying quite a substantial ways. Whoop, here we go. Well, let's go ahead and get these... I like to put the stink bombs on the roofs. Because they're the most annoying things to... Uh, stink bomb. Or most annoying things to, you know, get out, like, all the stinks on the roofs. Or put them in people's basements. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we can do that. See if we can do that to a guard. Yes! Got him. Some civilians? Hmm. <laughs> Don't know what a good stink bomb would do in the water supply, so we're not even going to worry about that. We're flying over enemy territory. Last time we were in Stormwind, I was getting the assassination weapons, I think it was? Garona's daggers? See if we can stink bomb a priest. I think we just did. Happy Hallow's End, everyone. See, look at it. They have, dark they have decorations and everything. It's not fair. That is our holiday. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have heard stuff like that before. Oh, Lord. Right through the Dwarven District. It probably is not going to make that much of a difference, though. They are a bit ripe. There you go. And right there on the pumpkin. Fortunately, there's no targets we necessarily have to hit. We just have to keep on dropping. Why can't we go to the palace? I'd really like to drop one on Varian. Oh. Awkward. Varian's actually smelling pretty bad already. Man, Forgot that away. he is no longer among the living. Maybe he could join the Forsaken. And one more to go. I'm out of range. Bam. Okay. Let's go ahead and return home. Our business here is done. Oh, he tele she teleported. That's handy. Now, these, you can find these brooms over the course of Hallow's End. Unfortunately, it's not a permanent mount, which makes me sad. I am that will show the fools in the Alliance who is the strongest. Take these treats and treat yourself to something nice, rogue. Huzzah. Well, let's go ahead and see what we can do about getting a better costume for Smee. Get out of all of this... Ominous pet treat. Your pet is consumed by the power of the void. Hmm. Little starlet. How about Yip Saran? Oh, it's 150? Aw. That's unfortunate. I'd like to get, huh, Smee here all Cthulhu'd out. Well, let's see what an ominous pet treat does. Here you go, Smee. Got a little surprise for you. <laughs> oh, Lord. The scariest pug of them all. Okay, that works. Come on, little guy. Now, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to take a flight to Stormwind. And we're going to see what happens when we actually... Ah, uh, see? Check it out. Someone put out the Wicker Man. We got the cure for that, though. Fire it up! Fire it up! It's my crow reference for the day. But I am going to take a flight, guys, and probably to use my turbocharged firing machine because it might be faster. And we're going to head to Stormwind and try to return the favor to the Alliance. So, see you guys there. Maybe my wolf mask will mean I'm able to get into Stormwind without being detected. I'm just a very short worgen. But we're flying over Elwyn Forest. We're about to fly over, I believe, the human starting zone. Northshire Valley. Yes, indeed. And Stormwind is right over here in the mist. 
Now, if memory serves, their Wicker Man is right outside their gates. Now, the Wicker Man, back in the day, actually used to be in Undercity, off to the side of Undercity, before they kind of updated everything um, in the Cataclysm. So, they decided to go ahead and move the Wicker Man for the Alliance right outside their main gates, which I think might might have been the exact same spot. But I think people complained that it was giving the Alliance uh, too big much of an advantage. So, they made it a little bit harder for them to take out the Forsaken's Wicker Man. Aha! There's the culprit. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Dowsing agent. Throw at the Wicker Man in Elwyn Forest to unleash a chemical reaction that smothers the flames. Easy. I need a target. What? I I don't need a target. I need to target something first. Eh. There we go. <laughs> Flee! Oh look, it's going out. Haha! Excellent. Now, unfortunately, I can't... <laughs> it's, it's a long flight back, so I'll tell you what I'm gonna do here, guys. Now that we have, uh... Taken out the Stormwind Wicker Man and thrown stink bombs on the human capital. We will go ahead and travel to Ogremar and get the rest of our treats for the Hallow's End Innkeepers. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the awesome Hallow's End boss. So, see you guys in Ogremar. So we've got two Innkeepers here in Thunder Bluff we need to talk to. Or not Thunder Bluff, Ogremar. This is Ogremar. And then we have to go to Thunder Bluff. First things first, though. Get ourselves a handful of... Oh, Lord! <laughs> yeah, I, Smee seems confused, as would I be. Dragging his butt in fear. And we got a Nerubian costume. Ah, Nerubian! Ugh, I hate spiders. Yoink. Let's see what we got here in the bag. Ah, a gnome male mask. Well, let's see what this looks. Oh, Lord. That is true terror. Well, here's Innkeeper Grishka. Zug, zug. Flexing for nougat. That's an interesting costume you have on. Even though you're being nice and helping a child trick or treat this year, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to perform a trick for me. Let's see. You look so strong and buff in that costume. Let's see you flex. Yes, go on now and flex for me, strong man. When, and only when you flex, I'll give you some tasty Ogremar nougat. It's a great Hallow's End treat. Mm, I like nougat. So, let's uh, go ahead and get that done. And, and flex for her specifically. And... Oh, wow, he does the Shawn Michaels. Or <laughs> he did the Shawn Michaels pose. Wow. That's impressive. Speak, friend. You are truly mighty. <laughs> well done, and thanks for being such a good sport. Here's your candy. Happy Hallow's End, Swindle Gear. Well, that's Nougat down. Now, the Troll Innkeeper. I really wish that we'd go to Darkspear Island, which is technically the troll capital. But it's okay. We don't have to go to uh, Ashara to the Goblin Capital, our capital, so. Capital. Now, what do you want me to do there, Kali Remick? A trick or treater! Yeah, man! Well, now, even though you're holding something noble and collecting candles for a child, I can't let you off the hook that easily. I have a yummy dark spear gumdrop to give to the child, if you make a train noise for me. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that'll be the trick. The price of this gumdrop is one train noise. Chugga chugga, rogue! Dark spear gumdrop. Well, we can do that for sure. You'll be careful, man. Chugga 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 choo choo! Mm hmm. Relax. <laughs> oh, well done. Here's your treat, and happy Hallow's End. Spirits be with you, man. Stellar. Well, that's everything done here in Ogremar. I guess we will go ahead and fly to Thunderbluff. 
Actually, while we're flying over the Northern Barrens here on the way to Mulgore, I figured now would be a good time to go ahead and answer a uh, subscriber question. I got asked, what was my favorite moment ever in all the time that I've been playing WoW? And that's a pretty loaded question. But I gave it some thought, and I mean, you think about all the times of PvP and raids and dungeons and, inner, and inside jokes with guild mates and all that kind of good stuff and the storyline developing. I would have to say that the time in WoW that I most enjoyed was um, twofold. I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you two examples. One is when my group first started doing Karazhan uh, during BC. It was the first time we, we'd ever done a raid together as a group of friends. We were all on vent and um, got our butts kicked at the beginning. Uh, we would be like, okay guys, well, Morose beat the crap out of us. I guess we'll have to uh, try again next week. And he was like the second boss in the entire raid. And then we would keep on going and get progress a little further and a little further. And when we finally took on the prince, who's the last boss of Karazhan, and killed him, there was such this um, feeling of accomplishment that we all did it together as a group of friends. And that's, that's one of the things that I, I enjoy most. It's something that now that most of my friends are back to playing WoW because of how fun Legion is, we're really looking forward to actually Tuesday when the new Karazhan um, opens up, which is a mythic dungeon. I'll be running that on my main. Not Swindle here, he doesn't have enough gear. But look, really, really looking forward to that and kind of tapping back into that old old vibe because the first wing of the dungeon is pretty much like old Karazhan and then apparently it gets weird. So should be very interesting. Discovering the unknown is really fun. That's my, that's my favorite PvE experience. My favorite PvP experience would honestly have to be Wintergrasp. Um, back during Wrath of the Lich King, which was a huge battleground that would happen every so often. And if you won the battlegrounds, you got access to a dungeon that everyone on your faction could do. But Wintergrasp was just so huge in its scope, and you could have so many people um, fighting in it. It was just these huge battles between Horde and Alliance, and uh, so good. I don't know if anyone's ever recorded it on YouTube, but if anyone, if you just look up Wintergrasp and just the size of it, because it was an entire zone dedicated to PvP, it was it was good fun. Now, ah, here we go. So help me if you make me moo, which wouldn't surprise me at all. And what we get in this one? Hmm, a human female mask. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> kind of looks like Gwyneth Paltrow a little bit. How may I aid you? Dancing for Marzipan. Even though you're trick-or-treating on benefit of a child, you still need to perform a trick for the treat. We can't very well change tradition now, can we? I believe the cost of a piece of marzipan nowadays is to burst out and dance. That's right. Let me see your moves. Dance for me and I'll give you some tasty candy. Do a dance emote. Yeah, no problem. I've got no qualms dancing for the moo cow. In the female mask, no less. Oh, she's dancing with me. I may have 99 problems, but dancing ain't one of them. Oh, wow. Really? Greetings, traveler. You're quite the dancing machine, Swindle Gear. Here's your treat for being such a good sport. Happy Hallow's End, and give my best to your little friend. Go in peace. Huzzah! So, that is the last bit of the capital treats that we need to get, so let's go ahead and head back to Undercity and hope this mask doesn't get me killed. I've always felt kind of strange there being a giant pumpkin in here, considering this is the uh, throne room where Arth has killed his father. That's weird. You can actually, if you chill in here for long enough, you can actually hear that, if you listen closely, that scene from Warcraft 3, I think it was Warcraft 3, um, can be heard, which is a cool little haunt. And, oh, they put out our Wicker Man again. We got the medicine for that. Loose! Talk to Yanka? I'm listening. Time to break down. Ah, so it is done. A momentary setback, but if it is annoying as their attacks have been, then it's worth it. 
The children learned about your adventure and were very excited. They seemed to revel in the mayhem that you helped bring about. Oh, those little rascals. They did want you to have some of these treats as a reward. Enjoy, Swindlegear. Our time. Whoa. Beware the living. Hey, Sylvanas. Holy crap. Hel life, we suffered unspeakable tragedies. I've never seen this before. We watched as our homes were raised to the ground. We cried out in agony as our families were cut down before our eyes. Finally, in the face of such atrocities, we were denied even the release of death. Yeah. You tell her, boss. Now, we burn this wicker man as a symbol of our victory against old enemies. We paint our faces with the ash to send a message to new enemies. A declaration to those who fear and revile us as monsters. To those who would question our place in this world, we are not monsters. We are not the mindless wretches of ghoul army. Hey! We are a force even more terrifying. We are a chill in a coward's spine. We are the instruments of an unyielding eye. We are the Forsaken. Ooh, I got a buff. Increases mastery by 863 and stamina by 1,152 for one hour. Hells, bells. This effect persists through death. Thanks, boss. What joy is there in this curse? We'll see you back in Stormheim. Interesting. I was about to say, I, was, I bet this is kind of sad for the Forsaken because they can't have children and to see all these orphans running around. You know what I mean? That'd be kind of weird. Have you finished trick-or-treating yet? The matron said we could pick one place to visit. At least there's a lot happening here. Wow, you got them all! You're awesome! Thank you for trick-or-treating for me. Here, take these pumpkin treats. I think you'll like them a lot. Happy Hallow's End! And ten tricky treats. Huzzah! Now, this may be a little bit of a long episode here, guys, but we have two more quests to do. One is we need to head to the Masked Orphan Matron in either Razor Hill, Brill, or Falcon Wing Square. And it's appropriate that we head to Brill for what's probably about to happen. You're about to see the uh, Hallow's End boss make an appearance. And then we will queue up to go fight him. So we will finish up our Hallow's End festi festivities today and then get back to track in Stormheim afterward. Thug, thug. The Headless Horseman's mind is plagued with dementia. During Hallow's End, he might attack this village at any moment. Who's the, uh, Headless Horseman? The Headless Horseman, once a knight of the Silver Hand and a hero among his fellow paladins, is cursed. Driven insane within the Scarlet Monastery, he believes he is alive and we are dead. Now his fervor no longer serves the light. With the coming of Hallow's End, he spreads gloom and fire across the villages of Azeroth. May hmm. your blades never dull. <laughs> the, the children love to watch heroes at work. It is my hope that one day, each of these orphans will grow into a strong member of the Horde and ultimately die in glorious battle. Ah, uh, such thoughts of such a fine fate brings mist to my eyes. Be safe. Indeed. Fire training. The Deathstalkers have set up a fire training area outside the town. We cannot afford further damage to the buildings of Brill. You should do your duty and train as a firefighter. Head west past the graveyard and follow the road. You'll find the training area there. Toss water buckets on five fires and speak with the Master Orphan Matron in Brill. Well, we can do that, and then the horseman will probably show up, and I'm in a bad spot because there is no one else here <laughs> to help me fight fires. Because the horseman shows up, he talks a lot of trash, and he starts throwing flaming pumpkins down on the buildings, and you have to try and put out all the fires. So, that is probably going to be an issue. But I think what we might do here is just fight the fires and then go take care of the horsemen just outright. 
See, now we're getting actually... Now we put out the... Um, the Wicker Men. And one more to go. And there's our firefighting training. Cool. Now, the cool thing about the Headless Horseman boss is we have to go inside Scarlet Monastery, which was a three-wing dungeon back during Vanilla and Burning Crusade. And it was updated to um, level 100, I believe, for Mista Pandaria. So it got a definite facelift. What can I do for you? Well done, Swindlegear. Children, take a good look at this rogue. Let him be a strong example to you. For the horde. <laughs> Indeed. Let the fires come. The Headless Horseman will attack the village at any moment. Fires will be everywhere. Swindlegear, will you face the fires of the Horseman? When he comes, you must join the fire brigade. Grab a bucket and toss it on the fires, or pass it to a friend who's closer to the blaze. If you put out all the fires, then we may yet be saved. Wait, a jack-o'-lantern and a tricky tree. Oh, crap. There he is. Cry for mercy! The reckoning has come! He really likes his rhymes. Okay, well, we're at least going to try. We're going to fail. I almost I can almost guarantee that. I wanna go back to the orphanage. <laughs> right. Loose! Gotta use that rogue quickness. Quick reflexes and such. I don't know, this will get Swindle Gear all nice and uh, irritated for when we actually fight the horsemen here. Now, you can toss these to other people, as they said before, or you can, uh... Yeah, I am not going to be able to fight all these fires myself, as you can see. Loose! There we go, there's one. Um, not going to be able to do that, but you can pass the fires to other people... Or you can just throw it like I'm doing. So you can use a little bit of teamwork. It's kind of like um, fighting off the Dark Iron during Brewfest that I showed you guys then. I'm at least going to save one building, dang it. No! The fire spread, by the way. As fire is uh, want to do. Okay. You prick. He's going to talk a whole lot of trash, too, during it. But he attacks uh, Falcon Wing Square for the Blood Elves, uh, Razor Hill for the Orcs, and Brill here. So there's plenty of opportunities if the Muse descends to uh, fight fires. But I'll tell you what, it looks like everything's pretty much in vain here. So I'm going to go ahead and queue up for the Headless Horseman. And I will see you guys in the Scarlet Monastery, and hopefully these uh, fires will burn themselves out. Alright guys, here's a change of plans. Um, it's actually a bit of a long queue um, for the horsemen, so what we're going to do here, as Smee drags his butt, is we're going to hold off on the Headless Horseman. We're going to do it first thing at next uh, tomorrow's episode, and then we're going to head back to Stormheim. So we'll end um, Hallow's End by taking care of the Headless Horseman and hopefully getting some epic gear, because they he drops 830, I think? 830 or 840 gear, which is awesome. And, uh, oh, that face. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take that mask off. There we go. There's, there's a face far more attractive. And um, we will deal with him and then head back to Stormhind and finish that up. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. I will see you next time. Later days, everyone. The town still burns. A cleansing fire. Uh -huh. Time is short. I'll soon retire. Yeah, you're going to be retired. <laughs>